Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where I pushed the play button but it didn't play so I played for like a couple of months off camera I guess so uh not much has happened Tuscany still doesn't really want out negative 31 reasons that's obnoxious but um we need to deal with this rebel army over here and we need to do that ASAP so let's go ahead and get this this army here let's see they are currently crossing the straight so that's fine let's go ahead and do this Ragusa wants military access there or with Tuscany uh, yeah we will we will give you military access to fight Tuscany Ragusa have fun with that peace offer from revolutionary Hungary they want us to give them stuff we will pass we will pass on that Okay, there we go. Get this capped back. Now we'll get Isil. They headed off north, presumably to fight Ragusa. I mean, Ragusa won't give them much of a fight, but where are they going with their force here? Uh, they're heading north. Maybe they're leaving our territory? That would be nice. Okay, so we need to win back some of this. Peace out, Tuscany. And then go over here and attack Revolutionary Hungary. So, actually, 27k here. They must be just banding regiments that they can't reinforce and just hiring mercs. That'd be nice. So, yeah, that's completely fine. We'll just use this army over here to recap. And then... Should we assume that this army up here is gone for now and attack Revolutionary Hungary with this army? Maybe. It looks like these rebels are moving in. They are. That's highly unfortunate. Not sure where these guys are going. But they just disbanded another one. That's nice of them. They must be murking up. It's the only thing they could be doing. Papal State. They're fighting the Papal State. What is this? Papal State is fighting Tuscany. Okay. I'll take it. Is this a separate war? Defender against Tuscany in the Tuscany in the Tuscan Austrian Imperialist War. Tuscany declared on Austria. And Austria had friends. Have fun with that, Tuscany. <laughs> I'll take it. They made a poor decision, shall we say. Okay, so can we actually fight that rebel force with this force is the question. And I don't know the answer. Uh, let's go ahead and split this up. There we go, and we'll split this. Just so we can slightly more efficiently cap back without having our forces too spread. It's down to 20k there. Yeah, they have to be murking up and essentially just teleporting their troops back here to deal with Austria. Okay. Actually, with you embroiled in that war, do you want out of this one, Tuscany? Actually, they almost do. They have zero reasons to want out. So, if we can cap back just a little bit, like, if we cap back Isil, I think they'll want out. Revolutionary Hungary is trying to piece us out ASAP. They must see this coming. There we go. Go there. Go there. Just recap all of this. Okay. I think... Dramatic currency revaluation. Concerned about spiraling inflation, our government strongly advises us to abandon the old coinage and begin using a new, more stable currency. While beneficial in the long run, this would immediately cause severe unrest in our country along with a loss of prestige. So we would lose a stability or gain three inflation. We'll lose the stability. We're at three right now. That's unfortunate. Tuscany is kind of getting wrecked since all their armies were down here, although they're teleporting them quickly. They're now down to a 3k stack down here. Nice of them. Do they actually want out? Yeah, they want out of this. They give us money? No. 
well, we have no war score against them. We just want Tuscany out. They're just negotiating for themselves, so we'll send that demand. Okay, Tuscany is out. They want to deal with this war, and I don't blame them. It looks like a nasty one. Not sure why they declared it, if I'm honest. They really probably shouldn't have. Okay, so with Tuscany out, all we have to deal with now is revolutionary Hungary. If we can get this siege done quickly, we can cap back all of this stuff and then go start getting ourselves ticking war score. Well, not and then, but... Ooh. Okay, he's going into Hungary. That's fine. We're renewing all of this stuff. Isil is over. We will go up to Karasi then. Fantastic. We're going to keep recapping down here with this army as quickly as we can, since apparently Tuscany isn't a problem anymore. Like, that was quite a stroke of luck, if I'm honest. Ooh, and he's going right back into, into there. That's great. Uh, we have no access through the knights. We have to fight him. Oh, well. We occupy Gurja, so we will get to Kus. Realistically, I feel like we should have lost this war, but Tuscany was overconfident or something. I almost said overcompetent. They uh, they were not overcompetent. They were undercompetent, if anything. Okay, so we'll kill these separatists. Wish we didn't have to fight them on the way over, but it is what it is. So... Revolutionary Hungary should still be very, very, very weak. Unless I miss my guess. They got really wrecked. Yeah, they currently have uh, 12,000 troops. So, that'll be just fine. No concerns about that. And we are just slowly recapping all of this stuff. Which will, of course, increase our amount of manpower that we gain each month, which will make us that much stronger. The knights really need to stop raiding, though. Oh, hungry. Why'd you get a boat there? <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, I guess we'll have to walk around. But that's okay. We can do that. We actually can't walk around? Let's see, we have military access through here. We don't have access through Georgia. That's who we need access through, because then we can get to Russia and the Commonwealth. So let's go ahead and ask for military access through Georgia. And in the meantime, we'll start marching up this way. There we go. We now have access, which means we can walk around to here. And this force can just keep capping back. There we go. De deteriorating relations with the nobility. Relations between the nobility and the High Counselor could hardly be worse. The great sense of distrust is plainly visible by the almost deserted court in Gondar, as the most prominent families keep to the countryside manners. Unless we do something soon, state authority will deteriorate in the areas controlled by the nobility, but any demands from the state will likely be met with arms in hand at this point. We will take the autonomy, I guess. It's very unfortunate, but we cannot deal with rebellions. Holy crap, this is laggy. Eh. Eh. I blame Tuscany. What'd you do? Did you start a world war, Tuscany? Like, what are you... What? I'm confused. Well, have fun with that, Tuscany. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Which is apparently walking around the Black Sea. Well, we can get around it relatively quickly ish. And for the most part, there we go. Wow, that's laggy. There's a lot going on in Italy right now. Look at that. That is insane. Like, I basically have to pause to get anything done. There's so many, so many people fighting up there. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep it unpaused and then pause it when we're trying to do things. Which currently, we should be trying to get these desieged. Should we force march this? We could force march it. I don't think we need to, though. Rasgarib has come under the occupation of Ethiopia. Excellent. So go on down to Haleb. You can go on down to Sara and Nubia. 
Excellent. Wow, that's laggy. Like, how many people are in this war? Seriously. It must be a lot. Like, are they fighting the whole HRE, pretty much? I mean, there's not much of the HRE left. But, yeah, most of Europe is embroiled in that war. Well, that buys us some time. Oh boy. More rebels. Just what we wanted. Well, we'll have to crush them, eventually. We'll make our way down that way. It shouldn't be too bad to crush them. We need to get out of this war, though. ASAP. There's no doubt about that. There we go. Apparently France is down here. Have fun with that, France. Okay. You are not currently moving, so you should move to Kasir Ibrim. You are going to Halab, so you should go to Swakin. There you go. Okay. Funge Separatists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and force march this. Really? Why can't we get here? Commonwealth not giving us access? They give access. Oh, Trebizond is no longer giving us access. We can go this way. Do we just need a ticket day? No, seriously, why can't we... Oh, the Caucasus are blocking us. Okay, so we need access through Trebizond. Okay, Trebizond gave us access. And now we should be able to get here. And we're force marched, so we'll get there a lot faster. Okay, we need to get down... Holy crap, this is so laggy. Well, the good news is... This war against Tuscany won't last very long. <laughs> Tuscany is currently at minus 78%. They must have thought, like, some allies weren't going to come in and then it did or something. Okay, we occupied Kasir Ibrim. We'll go ahead and go up to here. You can go to here. Excellent. Karasi. Oh! Thanks, France. France is being bros. Look at that. Good job, France. You dealt with that. You dealt with that very nicely. Okay, we're, go we're gonna go ahead and group those together. And then we're waiting on this here, kind of. Go here, go here. We're just kind of drifting together. Hey, we can get attack. Buns and Tontines. Paying for the upkeep of the army, the navy, and the administration itself accounts for the majority of the expenses for any state. As these are expenses that can run away quickly, however, taxes and tolls can be frustrating and inflexible ways to raise the money needed. While national debt is far from unheard of, we need to come up with better plans for raising money. Bonds, tontines, and other similar plans can be used both domestically and abroad to finance unforeseen expenses and will allow us to make much better use of the money we do have to develop our country. Number of states plus five can now build counting house. Okay, we're not going to increase our number of states just yet. We are going to move this guy into Dongola so that we can fight this group of rebels as soon as we get into position here. Which we will be. Well, we are now, but... Okay, we are currently sieging Constantinople. Excellent. We no longer need to be on force march for these guys. So there we go. Revolutionary Hungary occupied Karasi. Well, that's not awkward or anything. They did manage to get a little army there. Okay. Good to know. So as soon as we are done here... There we go. Move on in. War in Tuscany isn't over yet, so it's still a little laggy. Okay. We're at 14%. On Constantinople. Now we're at 35%. That's excellent. Okay, we should be able to take out this 47k stack. They're two separate stacks. Come on, get in there. Okay. Looks like we're good. Whew. That was a little risky to do it that way, to be sure. 
but I think we're okay. There we go. We won. Excellent. We are very low on our number of troops here, and we're nowhere near the ability to do that, to, to raise additional levies. So, yeah, this is definitely coming down to the wire. 24k. Wow, they got more troops than I thought they did. Well, we are recovering more and more of our manpower, so that's great. It is going to be... Okay, we got Constantinople back. Excellent. Now for Drenapoli. Okay, we got this. We'll get Soba. This 33k stack is... Um, actually, we should go to Shendi. Because this 33k stack is too scary. It's too scary. We can't take that on just now. So we'll go ahead and go into here. 13 colonies is claiming Kilwa. A sacked monastery. We could repair the monastery, but they can pray in their homes. Okay, how we how we doing up here? Revolutionary Hungary doesn't want to come in this way. Don't blame them. Okay, we'll go to Plovdiv. Hopefully we'll draw them across. We're currently at minus 8% war score. Minus 7% war score. We'll grab Beja next. Man, this force is weak, though. We need 72,000 men to reinforce our army right now. Like, do we merc up? Hmm. I feel like maybe we do merc up. Oh, at least a little bit. So that we can take this on. 17 and 5. We don't actually need that many. We need... Oh, wow. We need a lot of infantry. Okay. <laughs> Our infantry are basically gone here. So let's go ahead and grab like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. There we go. We'll mark up a little bit here. We got Plovdiv. Burgess next. Hey, looks like they broke up Tuscany. Well, serves you right, Tuscany. You guys are jerks. Okay. There's our first round of infantry. We'll group them up here. Second round will be coming in shortly. Yeah, it's much less laggy now that the war is in Tuscany is over. Still a little laggy, but that's kind of the way the late game in this game goes. Second round of mercs are up. So actually, yeah, we'll, we'll stick here. They're going to go into Beja, so that's fine. We'll group up our mercs. We're still making money? Yeah, we're still making money, so this is great. This is perfectly fine. How are we doing up here? I don't... The Hungarian army is coming down this way. That's, that's fine. They can do that. We'll go up into N Nicopoli next. And... Let's just get all of these guys grouped up. There we go. Do we have a leader? We do. We'll have this guy lead it, the mercenary force. And then we will wait a couple of days. Let's see. They will arrive on 15 August. We'll arrive on 10 August. 11, 12, 13, 14. Benghazi and Darna. Lovely. Okay. Uh, we will arrive on 15 August if we move right now. So we'll arrive simultaneously. And we'll be able to crush this force. And then we'll be able to recap this very, very quickly indeed, once there's no more troops down here. Looks like he is making a beeline for Damascus. That's fine. He can do that. Okay. Yep. We're crushing this. This is going to be a little obnoxious, but it'll be fine. Sharkia now. 50k troops there. Oof. Uh, the nobles are demanding privileges. We will accept their rightful claims. For now. Hey, we're at 0% war score. Okay, we'll group this up. Shift consolidate. And we will split off troops until we have... Wow. Okay, that was one too many. Until we have about a... Until we have a thousand in it. So we will select this unit... 
And we're just gonna keep splitting off units. And just split all of this up. To cap this all back very, very quickly indeed. Mm, there we go. And then probably we'll leave this this 10k stack here. We'll just go to Gonder with it. Okay. I think we're we're fine now. So they're sieging Damascus here. There is this noble group over here that's being annoying. But we are recapping a lot of territory over here and it's going to happen very very quickly. So off we go. Ish. <laughs> Some of it isn't going to be all correct, but that's fine. We're still making money, even though we're reinforcing those mercenaries, so that's great. We should probably think about recruiting up a few more mercs. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more mercs. There we go. You can go into Beja. Okay. You can come on down to Macedonia. We just need to recap as much as we can. As quickly as we can. You can come on down here, so that's a 0k stack. Same with you there. You can come on down here. You can come here. You can come here. You here. You here. You here. You here. You here. Is that everything-ish? Ish. There's a couple of missing things. Uh, you can come here instead. Okay. I think that's everybody up here moving? Yes. Excellent. We are at 5% war score. Something has to be done about those trade wars, but we don't have time for that right now. We need to get this war wrapped up before we can think about another one. Macedonia has come under the control. Excellent. Okay, the next, the other one was Axum, so we'll move you to Lasta. And then up here, Skopje. Skopje. I'm not sure exactly in that language, the Macedonian language, how the J is pronounced. Or the, the O might be Scoop or Scoop. Who knows? Not me. Siege of Gondor is over, though, so that is great. We'll move to Ankober. Excellent. We're now at 11% war score. Would they accept us taking Constantinople? They actually would. Of course, they don't want to give us that. All of that money. But, 15 reasons. 10 reasons. 3 reasons. 1 reason. They will accept this. You guys ready? This is it. This is what we came all this way for. I don't know if we have to core it or not, but here we go. Send the demand. They will accept. They have. We did not get the achievement. I'm guessing we have to core it. Let's do it. Constantinople is ours. We are at peace. We're going to move these guys back and just sit them in Constantinople for now. Okay, um, <laughs> we, we no longer need all these mercs. Most of these guys, most of this can come down here. Yeah, this is all relatively fine-ish. You guys can all just group up over here. Just everybody group up in a goo. There we go. We'll get rid of those mercs. We lost our conquest CB against Revolutionary Hungary, but that is just fine. We got what we needed. Constantinople. I mean, maybe we have to convert it, but I think we have to core it. So that'll be done in 1744. Couple more years. 
There's also this stack here that's going to be kind of obnoxious. Some nice glorious border gore going on up here. <laughs> but we should, once this is cored, which will be done on 29 January 1744. So a couple more years, it should be good to go. Now, of course, we are at high war exhaustion. Go ahead and group this. Detach all mercs. Get rid of all of our mercs. There we go. Shift consolidate. Oh, wow. We have zero infantry, zero cavalry, just artillery here. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Let's split off these guys. Hit them off up here. And then you can come here. And you can come here. There we go. Now, we do need to deal with this and this. So let's go ahead and move these guys. Well, we need we need military access through the Commonwealth. They want Constantinople. They're not getting it. They won't give us military access either. What about the knights? The knights give us military access? They actually would. There we go. Knights gave us military access. Now we can't actually make it back through since we need Drenapoli. Revolutionary Hungary is not going to give us access, so it'll pretty much have to be this force to deal with these guys, I guess. That that could take a while. Maybe we shouldn't have gotten rid of those mercs. That might have been a bad idea. I think it was a bad idea, actually. And the Commonwealth won't give us military access because of their opinion about us. So we'll just improve relations with them. That won't be a problem. France wants military access. That's fine. We don't want to make France sad. Go on up here. You can go up there as well. Okay. So we will be getting our achievement once we get that coring done, I think. France is the new emperor. So maybe what we should do is just go up to speed 5 for now. You can always pause. Just to cruise right on through this coring process. Take these guys up here. It looks like they actually took care of their rebels. So it's just this 50k stack here. Uh, we've seen this one a bunch of times. We're going to take the influential trading family. There we go. They would actually accept a royal marriage with us. They'll also give us military access. There we go. So we're going to take this army down here and go deal with this quick. We are, of course, 60,000 manpower in the hole. But that's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Where are you going? Jabal Shamar? Okay. Um, we're never going to get access through Hejaz. That's never, ever going to be a thing. Oh, they came down to Mecca. Lovely. Guess we have to go all the way around. <laughs> okay. It's not the end of the world. Our war exhaustion is, of course, rather high. But we're dealing with it. Tuscany is telling us of internal conflicts. Surprise, surprise. Let's see, these guys are 0% towards enforcing their demands. Yeah, that's good to know. Okay. Our truce is over. I mean, we're on speed 5 because we're largely just planning on chilling anyway. Ottomans have cancelled the access they gave us, but that's okay. We only need access through the Commonwealth now anyway. Hey, Commonwealth. Do you want to have an alliance? They don't. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We'll stick these guys in Alexandria. And because that last war taught us the importance of drilling, once they get there, we're going to start them drilling. Now that we're actually making enough money anyway to actually have our maintenance up. There we go. They're drilling. 
Those guys went down. Excellent. Go ahead and get this up. One more year until Constantinople is ready to go. There we go. That's fine. Uh, influential trading family. Yeah, we just saw that event. The knights are still raiding our, our coast. And we'll stick you back up in Constantinople. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to go up to the achievement, and then the question is, do we call it there? Is this the final episode of Europa? Hmm. It might very well be. I don't see a point, really, of playing this until 1821, actually. I think we just get the achievement and call it a day. So yeah, I'm going over time here, but that's fine. We just need a couple more months here. In fact, if that's the case, then we're going to go ahead and harsh treatment these guys so that they don't pop. Would normally never, ever do that. But there we go. Yep, yep, Ragusa's canceling that. We'll repay this loan. That's fine. Extend the rest. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. We only have, like... A month left before this is finished. 29 January is the day. So I'll probably pause right before then. Less than a month. Okay, let's go down to speed three again so we don't accidentally overshoot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. You guys ready? This should be it. We have Cairo, we have Antioch, we have Constantinople. Maybe we have to convert it, but we'll find out. In the very next episode! No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, I wouldn't do that to you guys. It's one day away. <laughs> I was just getting ready for a, a screenshot. Okay, let's do this. One more day. There we go. Hey! Prester John fantastic and there it is there's our final ethiopia like i said i don't think i'm going to bother playing through 1821 we got our achievement so i think i'm going to end it here and start a new series keep an eye out for what series that will be actually now that i mention it by the time this video is out the new series will have been announced i don't know what the new series is at this point but you will which is weird, because you're clearly time-traveling. I'm not cool with this. Anyway, thanks for watching this rather lengthy playthrough of Ethiopia. We got really lucky a couple of times, like, absurdly lucky, that would have set us back probably about 50 or so years if we hadn't have gotten lucky those couple of times. But we still would have made it in time. It's 1744, so we still have a, still have a solid little under 80 years. So, yeah, that went that went really really well. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in whatever series I do next.